what is light light is a form of energy that enables us to see things and how are we able to see things when light starts from a source and bounces off objects our eyes perceive the light and our brain processes the signal and eventually it allows our eyes to see the things and light has few properties right they are the well known properties the first is that light travels in a straight line this is also known as the rectilinear property of the light remember in our uh, one of the previous classes of chapter sound we told that the speed of sound is 340 meter per second now make a point that light travels at speed of 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second which is very much faster than that of sound this can be a mcq question next is light can be reflected there is a possibility of refraction of light dispersion of light diffraction of light polarization and interference of light in gpstr syllabus we had only reflection refraction dispersion but in hstr and christ syllabus we need to know all the five properties of light five to six properties of light they are reflection refraction dispersion diffraction polarization and interference now what is reflection light starts from a source and bounces off objects or you can also say that light starts from a source and uh, it is traveling in one medium then it bounces off when it is incident on the surface of another medium this is known as reflection here you can see that this is a plane some plane slab or something some solid it is but it is plane okay now one light is initially falling on it and then it is getting reflected now the light ray which is initially falling is known as incident ray and the light ray which is getting reflected is known as reflected ray it is bouncing back here right the incident ray after it touches the surface of this plane it bounces back this is known as reflected ray there is one more line which we call as normal we draw it perpendicular to this plane surface this is the normal to the surface and this is a very important line this is an imaginary line but it is very important because we are finding the angle of the incident ray with respect to the normal and that angle is known as incident angle and the angle which is made by the reflected ray with respect to the normal to the surface is known as reflected angle okay now whatever this reflection happens it is based on two laws they are known as laws of reflection the first law is that the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection always whenever reflection happen it follows this law that the angle of incidence here theta i is equal to theta r the second law states that the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal to the surface all three of them lie on the same plane and the two rays the incident ray and the reflected ray they are on opposite sides of this normal okay these two are the laws of reflection